Hello everyone, this is the Linux command line tutorial for robotics, control and machine learning engineers. In this first part of the Linux command line tutorial, we explain how to start a terminal, create folder and files, edit files, list content of folders, create hidden files, erase files and erase folders. Also, we explain what are the root and home folders or directories. But before we start with explanations, let us first briefly explain the main motivation for creating this video tutorial. Well, learning the Linux command line is very important if you want to become robotics, control or machine learning engineer. For example, in robotics, the Linux command line is very important since the robot operating system or ROS is based on the Linux command line. Well, we have noticed that a significant number of students and robotics learners are simply copying and pasting different Linux commands from online tutorials without properly understanding the meaning of commands that they are typing. This is a very ineffective learning practice. Moreover, this is a dangerous practice that should be avoided. Namely, this practice can create issues with an operating system or it can cause removal of important files. Consequently, it is of paramount importance to properly learn how to use the Linux command line. First, let us learn how to open a terminal in Linux Ubuntu. We can do that by clicking on activities and over here you need to type terminal. Then you need to click on this window. And here it is. Here's our terminal. A nice thing about the Linux operating system is that you can perform the same operation by using different approaches. Another approach for opening a terminal in Ubuntu is to use the keyboard keys. Let's close this window and let's demonstrate that. If I press Ctrl, Alt, T, a terminal will appear. Again, Ctrl, Alt, T, and here's our terminal. Next, we need to learn how to determine our current absolute path with respect to the root directory. In the terminal, we type pwd. And here it is. This is the absolute path of the current active folder with respect to the root folder or the root directory. This command pwd is an abbreviation for print working directory. Then, you need to understand this symbol. This symbol is called the forward slash symbol and it denotes the root directory. The root directory is the root that stores all the directories and files in the Linux system. So let's learn how to access the root. We can do that by typing cd and cd stands for change directory and this symbol denoting the root. And here it is. Now, let's list the content of the root directory. We can do that by using the command ls-l. And here is the content of the root directory. Over here, you can actually see my username. However, sometimes the usernames can be hidden. To verify your username, you need to type who am I. And your username will appear. Next. Let's learn what is a home folder. If I type again in my root lsl, I will see different folders over here. And there is this folder called home folder. This is a very important folder since it contains all the folders for the current user. To access that folder, we can do two things. The first way to access this folder is to type cd for change directory and this still the symbol. And now I'm in my home directory. I can verify that by typing pwd. And you can see home Alexander. Let's go back to the root by typing this. And let's learn how to use cd to go to our home directory. We can do that by typing cd home. This will change the current home folder, the current actually active folder, from the root to the home. Here it is. 
And let's list the content of this folder. We only have one subfolder. So let's go to that folder. And here it is. Here we are. Now PWD will give us our home folder. Let's explain the commands that we just typed in more details. First of all, this symbol tilde is a symbol for the home folder. To repeat, if we want to quickly go to the home folder, we will type this. Next, we use this command lsl. This command is used to list the content of the current directory. Now, in Linux, we have two types of files. We have files that are not hidden and the files that are hidden. To list the hidden files and the hidden folders, as well as all other folders, we will need to type lsla. And now you can see additional folders. For example, you can see folders and files that start with dot. If you see a folder or a file starting with a dot or a period, it's better to say period, that is starting with a period, then you know that that folder or a file is a hidden file in the Linux system. For example, if you just type LSL, you will not see the hidden folders and files. If you type lsla, you will see all the hidden folders and files. Over here, you should notice that we are always calling ls from the current folder. However, we can also list the content of a folder without going to that folder. For example, to list the content of the folder inside of some other folder, we will type lsla, and then we will type the absolute path to that folder. For example, inside of the root folder, there is a folder called etc, etc. And we can list its content without going to that folder by just typing this. And here's the content of the etc folder inside of the root folder. Next, let's learn how to create a directory. We use the command mkdir to create directory. So let's do that. For example, let's create a directory or a folder called test1. Consequently, we will type this. And let's see the content of our home folder. And inside of this home folder, we can see test1. And we can see that it's created just a few seconds ago. Now, let's learn how to navigate to that folder. We will simply type cd for change directory and test1. Now, let us see our absolute path, pwd. And here it is. We are inside the directory test1. Okay, let's go back to the home folder. We can do it by typing cd and you have this double period combination of symbols, this will bring us to our parent directory or our parent folder. Here it is, and we can see our path. So to go forward, we type this, and to go back into the directory structure, we type this. At the same time, we can actually create two folders. That is, we can create a folder and inside of that folder we can create another folder. To do that, we will type this. And then we will use this parameter dash p. Then we need to specify the path from our home folder. Here's the path. I will call the new folder test2 and inside of test2 I will create another folder called subfolder2. And let's list the content of our home folder and we can see test2. Let's go to the test2 by typing this and let's see the content of test2. We can see that inside of test2 we have another folder called subfolder. Next, let's learn how to create files in Linux. First, let us navigate to the folder test1. To do that, let's go to the home folder and then let's type cd test1. To create empty files, we need to use a command called touch. For example, to create an empty text file, we will type something like this, touch and the name of the file. So let's type that, touch, and let's call the file empty 
text. Okay, so let's see the content of this folder. Here it is. Here's our empty file. Now, let's learn how to create an empty hidden file. To do that, we will simply type touch. Since we want to create an empty file, we will start the file name with a period and we will type the name empty text hidden dot text. Now, if you type LSL, you will only see a single file. Well, LSL will not list all the files. This command will only list files that are not hidden. To list the, all the files, you need to type this LSLA, and then you will see our hidden file over here. Next, let's learn how to edit files. To edit a file, we need to use gEditor. Of course, there are other approaches for editing files. However, I really like gEditor since it reminds me of Windows Notepad. First, we need to install gEdit. To install gEdit, we need to type sudo apt-get install, install gEdit. Okay, enter your password. And you can see over here that gEditor is already installed on my computer. This is because I installed gEditor before creating this video tutorial. However, in your case, you will see the installation process. Now, let's edit our file called empty text. To do that, we will simply type gEdit and we will type the file name empty text. And here it is. And this is not an empty file anymore. Let's type something, press Ctrl S to save, and close the G editor. Let's see what happened over here. Okay, we can see that this file now has some content. That is, this is not completely empty file. We can also edit hidden files. Again, we will type gedit dot, and we will type the name of the empty file. And here it is. This, em this hidden file is not empty. And control S to save and close. Next, let us learn how to erase files and folders. First, while we are still in test one, let's create a new file. Let's type touch new file dot text. Okay, let's list the content of the folder and we can see our new file. To erase a file, we need to use the command called rm, short for remove. To delete the file, we type rm and then we need to specify the name of the file, newfile.txt. Here it is. Let's see what happens. Let's do something like this and we cannot see new file anymore. Perfect. Next, let's learn how to erase all the files while keeping the current directory. First, let us create another folder inside of the folder test1 and let us navigate to the new folder. So let's type this to create a new folder and let's call this folder subfolder1. Let's navigate to that subfolder and in that folder let's create two new files. Let's create file 1 and let's create file 2. Let's list the content of this new folder. Here it is, file 1 and file 2. Now, let's learn how to erase both files at the same time. To do that, we need to use rm and look now the magic of Linux. We need to use the star symbol. The star symbol is used in Linux to denote that we want to perform the operation on all the files and folders. That is, it stands for everything. This is a very powerful symbol that can be used to perform a very elegant operation. We will thoroughly explain this symbol in our future tutorials. Okay, so if I type this and if I type lsla, you can see that the folder is completely empty. Next, let us learn how to completely erase the folder and its content. To do that, let's go back to the home folder by typing this. Let's erase the folder test1 and all its content 
including all the files and subfolders. To do that, we need to type rm-r test1. And this will erase the folder test1 for good. Okay, let's now, let's do this to see everything. And I can only see test2, I cannot see test1. Now, let's completely clean up our environment. That is, let's erase everything. Let's erase also test2. So let's repeat this command on test2. And that's it. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. And see you in the second part of this video tutorial.